This building is the MIT Media Lab, also known as the Jerome Lemelson Center. Is our Okawa Center for Future Children and the concrete building. So, the Media Lab calls itself anti-disciplinary. I have no idea what that term means, but it fairly is a weird place. So, you can understand Media Lab as like this uh, group of researchers which work on interdisciplinary technology and they are sponsored by all these like different companies uh, which want to invest on making the future. And so what you see is a bunch of researchers cutting across different disciplines working together on uh, problems which really aren't belonging to any one particular discipline. This right here is Fluid Interfaces, one of the groups of MIT Media Lab where I am presently working as a visiting student. So uh, a general composition of this lab is like a mix of designers, architects, uh, computer scientists, uh, people who work in electronics, easy, you get the idea. So all these people come together to create projects in which humans and machines basically collaborate. It's more than collaborate, like kind of like combine uh, to create awesome things. So we work on things like wearables, we work on things like um, uh, brain computer interfaces. So it's kind of work which cannot exactly be called as computer science or design or uh, electronics. It is kind of a mix of all these things. Out of all of this, there is one key area where Media Lab definitely has to improve a lot and that is this. So fast forward. I think the most interesting part about Media Lab is not the resources but the kind of framework that these guys are working on, right? People from different countries coming together from different backgrounds and ideating ki world beast saal mein kaise aane wali hai. Personally, I feel India ko aise ek framework ki bahut 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 zarurat hai. India is an extremely complex country and the kind of education system we have right now, it's just not uh, sufficient to bear the pressure of uh, what is about to come. This is something I read in a book by Mitch Resnick. He is one of the professors at Lifelong Kindergarten. That's a group in uh, Media Lab. So he talks how he had an interaction with a professor from Tsinghua University, which is in China. And uh, the professor from Tsinghua University, he mentioned how China has a lot of A students, but the A students, has, uh, they follow the rules perfectly, they study, score karte hai, you know, exams, mein A grades and everything. And these kids are super awesome and very important for the status quo, like seeing ki existing processes kaise karti hai. But these students are not good for creating new systems, for creating new ways of looking at things. The ex students are the ones who break the rules, are the ones who create new rules, are the ones who create new systems. After coming to Media Lab, once I started looking at the kind of things people are doing, I saw people are innovating, you know. As a youngster, as a layman in uh, India, ki who are the innovators of the country? You think of people like APJ Abdul Kalam, you think of Narayan Murthy. But Sabkoi Ek Din mein does not become these people, right? You cannot become APJ Abdul Kalam in like one day. We need more like red, like small, small inspirations. Chote, chote, uh, projects jo log kar rahe hain. and we need those references ki agar mujhe ek website banana hai then how do i get started agar mujhe artificial intelligence mein get started karna hai, how do i do that so many people are learning lekin ye kabhi share nahi hota so i think rather than as a group of competitors we need to think of innovation as something that can be collaborative ki agar main lucknow mein hu i can still collaborate with someone who is in saharanpur or who is in thrissur because Modern technology has made distance irrelevant and this is what Outliers is trying to do. Uh, kind of creating a platform where you can uh, learn new skills, you can um, add your projects, share your projects and also learn from the people who have been innovating for uh, you know quite some time. So the idea is to bring the stories, what inspires them, what got them started, how did they learn these things. These all things I think are very crucial. Uh, for India right now so that we can together be on the same team and we can like innovate and uh, not just for India but for the whole world obviously but I think India in particular because our problems hai, are very different from what Silicon Valley is ever going to innovate right so guys in summary I just say that Outliers is not my project or my friend's project it is something that we are doing out of pure love for the things we believe in 
आई थिंक टेक्नोलॉजी इज़ एन एम्पावरिंग टूल डिज़ाइन इज़ एन एम्पावरिंग टूल ये एक एक जरिया है जिससे आप अपनी लाइफ बदल सकते हो अपने आसपास की चीज़ें बदल सकते हो एंड विद ऑल ऑप्टिमिज्म एंड विद प्योर लव आई थिंक आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट यू टू चेक आउट सम आर्टिकल्स इन आउट लाइज गिव योर सजेशन गिव योर हेल्पफुल कॉमेंट्स एंड लेट्स लेट्स डू समथिंग लेट्स लेट्स चेंज द वर्ल्ड एंड आई नो एज क्लीशे एज इट साउंड दैट दोज वर्ड्स हैव लॉट ऑफ पार इन दैम एंड uh, अगर हम अपने आप को बदल सकते हैं देन वी कैन चेंज द वर्ल्ड सो द आइडिया ऑफ आउटलाइज इज टू एक्विप यू विथ टूल्स एंड द कनेक्शन एंड द रिसोर्स टू गेट स्टार्टड ऑन मेकिंग इम्पैक्ट तब तक के लिए बाय एंड जय हिंद